All right, a uh, look at the French military F1 pup tent in the rain. It's been raining for about mm, 10 minutes. You can see the material uh, is pretty thin, so you can actually see all of the rain on the outside heating up. Uh, but it's not getting through. At least so far. Just looking around here, let's look in the corners. No, it's not a super heavy rain, but um, yeah. No, well, it's dry still over there. Dry over here. <sighs> There and dry over. There. Oh, wait. Hmm. That spot right there feels a little damp. Okay. So one spot to uh, seal up a bit, I guess. Everything else seems fine. I do have a ground cloth on underneath. Um, yeah, let's see. So, it's starting to sag a little bit with the weight of the water. So, you can see. Uh, maybe you can't see. It's hanging down just a bit. But there's nothing, definitely nothing coming in on the sides. Oh, wait, look at this. That's interesting. So along this seam here, water is getting through in a couple spots. Okay. On the other side. Yeah, over here too. Not into the tent, but clearly it's getting through the seams. It's going down there instead of rolling off the back. So, I am going to say, seam seal is a definite need for this particular tent. I mean, it is 26 years old, even though they're still new. Um, you know, over time the sealant just starts to give out a little bit. So, that'll be my next step, sealing up the tent. Alright, there you go, the French F1 military pup tent.